and welcome back to Ask Jeff Anything, where I attempt to answer any question sent in to me by one of my readers. Um, today's question comes from Shay Rao. Shay Rao says, role play, yay or nay, ever partaken in pen and paper role playing games and the like? Thanks for your question, Shay Rao, as always. Um, yes, in fact, when I was a kid, I did spend a little bit of time playing Dungeons and Dragons. Um, although that's actually makes it sound a little more grandiose than it was, because you see, uh, the instructions books for Dungeons and Dragons were freaking huge, and so you know my friends and I had no patience to actually read them all. So what we played was actually sort of a vague approximation of what the game was supposed to be, based on a quick skim and some daydreaming that we imagined the game was supposed to be. Um, and actually, we ended up creating our own character class, uh, which was called Demigod, and. Uh, yeah, we figured, why waste your time pretending to be a penniless level one halfling thief when you could be an immortal elf ranger who had every single magic spell at your disposal from the very beginning? What's interesting is that this coincided, this period of my life coincided with uh, a strange media obsession with role-playing games where they insinuated very strongly to all of our parents that not only were we going to go insane and get lost inside these fantasy worlds, but that games like Dungeons and Dragons were uh, satanic based and were luring us, you know, into Satan's grasp. And my father, um, who was usually a pretty level-headed guy, actually forbade me to play Dungeons and Dragons for a while based on these uh, weird rumors that were going around. Um, you can get a real taste of what the paranoia was like by watching an obscure Tom Hanks movie called Mazes and Monsters that I remember seeing on television around that time. So just for the record, my father did not forbid me to drink, smoke, or look at dirty magazines, but he did forbid me to play Dungeons and Dragons. That's parenting. So, thanks again, Cheryl, for your question. Until next time, I'm Jeff Summers, and if I'm lost in a satanic fantasy world, I want my money back.